In this lesson, we will look at how Create React App comes bundled with Jest for unit testing along with testing library and React testing library for unit testing React components. Today we will look at some of the weaknesses of this workflow in terms of visually debugging your component tests and replace React testing library with Cypress for our React component testing. Let's go. So we start off with the clean React application using npx create React app, passing in the name of our application and using the TypeScript template. All the commands that I'm going to execute are going to be available in the video description so you can follow along whenever you want. Now once the installation is complete, we simply open up that directory within our IDE. Now the base React app application comes with a very basic link within the UI that contains the text learn React. And then there is a test for this application component that renders out the component using React testing library and then ensures that it contains the text learn React. Now we can run all these tests using npm run test and you can see that this test passes as you would expect from the default template. Now let's go ahead and make some modification to our code base. For example, change the text learn react to learning react to see the developer experience when tests start to fail. The test runs again and fails as you would expect. However, in order to debug why the test fails, the best visual opportunity you have is to look at this HTML that react testing library logs out. There is no actual visual view of what the UI looked like when this test ran. Now let's go ahead and replace React testing library with Cypress. Cypress is something that you will already be probably using for end-to-end -end testing your application, but now it can also run component unit tests using the Cypress React unit test library. So we install Cypress and Cypress React unit test, and once the installation is complete, we can start configuring Cypress for testing create React app applications. Now Cypress supports TypeScript out of the box, so the only configuration we need to do for TypeScript is to jump to tsconfig, add a types section, and within that add the types for Cypress. Next we will jump into our package.json and add scripts for running Cypress during development as well as on the build server. So within the script section in our package.json, we add a script for Cypress open. This is the script that we'll be using during development. And for the build server to execute Cypress in headless mode, we add Cypress run. Now we will create a Cypress configuration file, and this is the file that will be used to configure component tests within Cypress. To enable component tests, we set experimental component testing to true. We provide a path to the component tests to be under the source Cypress components folder. And then we provide a path to the integration test folder as well, so that both our components and integration tests are under source Cypress. Now to enable Cypress tests for create react app, we will create two files, a support file to collect coverage reports and a plugins file to use the built-in create react app webpack setup to compile our tests on the fly. And as a final optional step, we will disable any features that we won't be using, for example, fixtures. Now we will go ahead and create the support and plugins file. First up is the support file. So we go under source, Cypress, support and index.js. And all we need to do for this file is to load the support module from Cypress React unit test. This ensures that the Cypress React unit test support module is loaded as a part of all our tests. And this is what will collect the coverage reports that we will see in the end. Next up, we set up the Cypress plugins file, which will be located under source Cypress plugins index.js. This is the path that we specified in our Cypress.json configuration. Now within this file, all that we need to do is to take the configuration that Cypress will pass us and then hand it over to the Cypress React unit test plugins for React scripts as React scripts is what is used by create react app to provide its webpack configuration. Now, once we have this modified config, we simply return it back to Cypress. And that is the end of the one-time configuration that we need to do for Cypress react unit test. Now let's go back to our application unit test file. We will go ahead and copy everything that's there and then delete this file as we will be rewriting this test in Cypress. Now as specified in our cypress.json config file, all our component tests will be located under source cypress component folder and we create this file app.test.tsx. We start off by pasting in the component test that we copied earlier. First off, we remove testing library react. And now we use the mount function from Cypress React unit test. Next, we fix the path to our app component as the location of our test has changed. 
And now because Cypress uses mocha under the hood instead of chest, we replace test with it and wrap it up into a described test suite which is standard for mocha. And then move this test within this described test suite. And now instead of rendering the component, we will mount it to the DOM. And because Cypress uses true browser DOM, this will also result in less mocking needed when testing your React components. And now instead of having to learn and use a specific API for unit testing, we get to use the same Cypress API that you will use when writing your integration tests. So we ensure that something containing the text learn react is mounted to the DOM and that it should be visible to the user. Now we open up the terminal and run Cypress open, which is the script that you will be using for component and integration testing during development. This opens up the test runner and under component tests, you can see that our test is there. If we click it, the tests start running in a full browser environment. Now Cypress does automatic retries and you can see here that it's waiting for something with the text learn react to appear on screen. And when it doesn't appear after four seconds, the test fails. Now a key thing to note at this point is that we have a visual representation of what the component is rendering and what we expected it to render. So now we can jump back to our test and modify it to the text that the component is actually rendering. And now it passes as you would expect. Now at this point, this test is actually better than what we had with the React testing library because not only does it ensure that this text is present, but also ensures that it is visible to the user. And we can demonstrate that by going back to our application into the app component and then adding a style to the anchor tag with display none. So now even though the text will be present within the DOM, it will not be visible to the user and now the test runs again and it will fail because this text is not visible to the user. Now if we jump back to our application and delete the style attribute, of course the test will pass again. One final thing to point out is that the tests do execute quite fast during development. I haven't seen a big performance impact of using Cypress for React component testing. Now within the test log, you will also notice that because of our support file, Cypress is collecting coverage reports on our application. Cypress will also generate a coverage report under the coverage folder as HTML files. We can open up these files on our computer using the open terminal command. And then navigate to various components in our application to see the coverage reports for individual components. And in this particular case, you can see that the coverage for our app component is at 100%. Now at this point, we are no longer using Jest or testing library for testing our components. So we can go ahead and delete them from our dependencies and then rewire the test script to run Cypress open. And now during development, you can simply run npm t to start Cypress for both your component test as well as your integration tests. And that's all for this lesson on using Cypress for visually testing your React components. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.